Hello and welcome back to Spirit Fur. We're so close. No, we have to do that first. Get a doctor. The best doctor in the whole wide world. Yeah, I don't believe that either, but you know. If he says so, I'm gonna try that. Then we'll go to Bottom Line Corp, get that, and uh, Brian, Kramer's uh, Peaks after that. Mm. Old Central District. I have no idea how, how I'm supposed to do that. Best, how to do that the best way. Really? Well, we will manage. Anyway, we got two new cars, which I haven't checked out yet. Where are they? I can't check them out. Oh. Eh. I really hope you can see them. Oh, well. I will keep them. I won't sell them. Uh, he is in his manor, which means... Uh, to do this um it was up here all the way up here i think no why would you thank you it's open now oh mm. wait what you're looking for a doctor well look no further you found him you found me! I'm a world-renowned hand surgeon. I've been on dog shows, I've been recognizing oh. moles, I own a 600 gold hot tub. Always tropical and ready for when this doctor comes home. After a hard day of doing what surgeons do, I need to relax my hands in warm, bubbling oh. water. That is the life of this prestigious doctor. I'm known for my impeccable surgery skills and for being punctual. I'm always on time because of this watch. It costs so much money, I don't want to say. It's encrusted with rare diamonds. It's a triple retrograde tr turbulion. Well, I can see I lost you there. I bought it as a gift for myself after my fourth marriage. Now, back to you. You need a doctor? For Overbrook, I thought that place closed down. And it's so far away. Why would I ever work in a place like that? For money. I'll do it for more money. No one ever says no to more money. I just love buying myself new things. When I'm at, not at work, I show myself with expensive gifts. Mm. That was my nature. I would consider it for hmm, 10,000 glimps. Mm. Upfront, no bi weekly payments. Glimps mm. only. A one time offer. Deal? <laughs> you can hear the money splashing around in your pockets. Fork it over if you still want me to work in an awful mm. overbook, alright? Sure. Well, just like that, you've got yourself a deal. I'll start prepping my move. Mm. I'll tell you my job that I'm moving on up to a better gig. <laughs> Overbrook doesn't sound too exciting. Mm. I might just lie and say I'm going to a more reputable hospital. Well, see you around. Thanks for the money. Sure, I sh... No. Don't make me regret that. Really. Oops, wrong way. <laughs> I hope we won't regret that. So now... Where, where should we go now? Maybe we should go straight over here. Like so, like so... And we're off. So, we are back. Okay, we're here. We'll make it, hopefully. Really? I'm feeling we are nearing the end. I know we are. Uh, yes, I know. No, no, no. I don't want to talk with you. I know we are nearing the end. Hmm? Hmm. I thought I was supposed to buy it from you. Oh. That wasn't going to meet the Oh, Buck sent you! Finally! Oh, oops, sorry, I mean... 
Glad to finally make your acquaintance, Commander. I'm indeed ordering the board. It was I who composed the ode to Fabergon the Drunk. I who solemnly performed at the court of Queen Flatheen for her Ooh. wedding. And I'll be the chronicle of the Silver Company once again. Pretty good, eh? <laughs> I love this character. Ooh. Yes, you can count on me. I will meet you all at the Naked Mole Bar and as planned. And in the meantime, I will score the Elder Archives of the Great Library of Al while I'll pull in search of every precise mm. information. I think to turn around. Okay, good around. See ya! See. Mm. Listen, I'm only gonna say this once. Mr. Davis is not someone to be taken uh -huh. lightly. You don't play around with Mr. Davis. I have seen Mr. Davis get angry for much less, you hear mm. me? You understand? Alright, with this much product, the risk is high. Here it is. Now get out of my sight, you should degenerate. Yes, sir. Mm, now we should go... We <laughs> can... Oh, we are nearing night, so yeah, we can go. Ooh, great mistakes. It was at the shrine with Lily. Then Oxbury. Not now. We will do that later. Hoseki Quarry and Villa Majori. And Hum Hummingbird. So Elena, B Buck, Lily. Right away. Yes, I really don't like your sister. She's not a very nice person. I have to admit. Oh, she sounds jealous. Oh, well, pretty some people are spiteful when something bad happens to one of their family members. I don't know. Well, maybe this is her way to cope with all that. I'm not saying it's a good way of doing it. Well, maybe she doesn't know how to do it otherwise. Oh, I'm gonna hug you. I hope me hugging you does something good for a relationship. I really do. But here we are. I hope I yeah, I think this is the right place. It was on the top left side. I remember that much. Come on, come on. Do it once again. Okay, it's working. Sad to report that there were no cute doctors wandering the house. Look at you, you look so frail. But even on your hospital bed, you're so gorgeous. Oh, this whiskey bottle is half empty. I just go ahead and say you're trying to rest. You remember that phone call you gave me last year? You had taken a sabbatical from work. I had to call the center to learn about it. Yeah, she took a few months off. She got some bad news. What a weird way to learn that your sister isn't doing well. 
So, you call me Twix or something after. It's maybe 2 in the morning here. Your voice was shaking. I could hear you breathing heavily. You start talking about the trees around you and the air. No, hi Lily. No, I'm not doing well. Nothing. Just talking about the trees and the air. You said it was cold. But it felt like death. Even over here. I didn't even know where here was. It was... it went silent and then you said you'd be home in a few days. I didn't know what to make of it. You were sleepwalking? Was that whole thing just a dream? I was scared. You came back and told mom and me of your diagnosis. And now we're here together. Mom is awake. And I'm awake and I'm holding your hand. If you can hear me, I love you so much, sis. You're not alone in the woods anymore. You're here, Stella. You'll never be alone. You've never been alone. There's still one more person we have to find. Oh, wait. Wrong way. We are not ready to go. No! No. Not happening, Lily. No. 34 and 69. And as usual, be right back. Okay, we're here. And I forgot where we came. Ooh. Right, treasure. Of course, treasure chest. Treasure. Sunken treasure? Something? Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so now we can go to Hummingbird. Yep. We won't wake up Elena. I wanna wake her up. Dear Stella, Daria has recently requested that you visit at your earliest convenience. Regards of a broken skirt up there. But we can't. Hmm. Okay, no, 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 no. Just like this, like this, and let's go straight away. So, we are back. Okay, we are at the overbook now. Yes. Alright, oh, I was supposed to talk to you. I forgot about you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please forgive me. Yes. You made good on your promise to find these valuables. I know these bring back memories. Your ring from a past marriage. Those coins. From your brother, you say. Do you need to stop thinking of such things? Your past will always bring you shame. Your past will bring you down. Your heart needs to guide you forward. I need you to do something hard. Perhaps impossible in your current state. I need one, well, I need one of these valuables. Take your time to decide. Then you can give it to me. Actually, no. That must have been hard. Such as life. You live. You lose. We're expecting something in return. I'll let you have some time for yourself now, student. Oh, I. It was my decision. Nothing new. There are more people walking around. Hello. You really are here. I asked for you. I asked the guards. No, please. The guardians? This room felt like a cage. 
And now, I am told that I am free. Free? Not certain. Freedom may be a trick, I hope. The sinking of the light. A twisted mirror, a... No. You are here. Magic. I am... I... Before coming. I am not as I was when last we met, Stella. You see, I am adrift on an ocean. On of my own making. And I've come to realize that... That... I cannot produce the words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water. Where they die down of the whispers and insignificant ripples. And... And... I believe that you can still hear them. You are one who listens, who knows how to listen. You can illuminate the ocean's starless nights. The instrument you have gifted me, and... You remember my song, don't you? Please, go outside and play it, it shall guide me. I believe you understand. sure whether we're playing the right song. Outside, directly outside the room. Let's see. Maybe this will work. I thought it was her! I feel you. Okay, give me a second. Okay, there's that. thing, preserving of a care and empathy. You did not see the silly bones with which the giant had skilled the thing, and neither did you see the tumult of sea underneath. Oh no, it grew angry and angry, in accordance to the giant's fickle spirits. No, you saw the pain and neglected the wound. You were unready for the giant's last dying spasm, for his encounter with demons of his own that would break his will. Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion, and the invisible but raging sea swept me away, and where, unmoored and waited as I was, I sank with deepest depths.
Really? I used the apps I know well and had hoped to never visit them again. Within them roam all manners of vicious beasts, toothed, fanged, and scale. Angry always for suffering and pain, for doubts, memories, and minds. Every single morsel to survive, I crashed and flailed. So much so that I managed to shed my bones along with strands of myself. And the beasts, as expected, promptly devoured them. I floated back to the surface, far from the beasts. Yet it was there that gentle hands plucked me from the gentle sea. And there, as I was laying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated on an image that had been born in my empty mind. For through the nest of the beasts, a strange glimmer caught my eye. Remnants and wrecks from past voyages containing dreams of a past long forgotten. What did you do? Seriously? Spit it out! Daria seems to have really responded to you. I've never seen her like that. So vibrant! I don't know what you did, but it did wonders. And another thing. What's going on with Overbrook? I've worked here for ages and never mm. changes. All the things have been happening ever since you came around. One minute everything is going to shit. The power is constantly going in and out. We've got rats as big as dogs. It's always raining. Then... Mm. Oof! Things are turning around. They're so bad, but less bad. You know, it's like I still can swim, but I don't have monster sized rats trying to eat my feet. But you know what I think? I think all these changes, they're related to you and that weird looking vending machine. Don't make that face, I mean it. Listen, I've never used it personally. I don't believe in money and the concept of spending some money. But whatever you use it, weird stuff happens. More good than weird. Still, it's pretty weird. So, I'm thinking, you should just go all out and buy a bunch of stuff from the vending mm. machine. Real little stuff loose. If it magically brings new life to this place, I might send this way. Also, it might cheer up Daria and everyone else in this depressing mm. hellhole. I won't keep you. Enjoy your snack up snacks and the vending machine. Scrolls for the weird good stuff. And that's what I've been wait- And that is what I've been waiting for! Oh, we have a couple of bubbles. Spend. Oh, Radiance Pink. Thank you. You're welcome. Now we have more Radiance Springs. How do we get those? Station. I mean, over there. No, 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 wait for me, wait for me. <laughs> Thank you. forget it. Today I started hearing the noise. Faintly at first and louder and louder yet. Whoop! Whoops and drops of water that only I could hear. Perhaps I saw it as a sign. They could no longer fit within the warm confines of the family home. And so I left, seeking the surface of the noise. Mm. 
in the beginning of my quest, the land was trampled. I remember the tender grass and the soft wind. I kept following the sound of the footprints, all the while paying little attention to the waters rising at my feet. Soon enough, I was wading through a milky and dark flood, surrounded by a thick fog, and the oaks and groves and glimmers. There is not much to remember. A very green sea that lasted for eternity. No dive can ever restore these memories. They have been wiped clean, picked to the bone. As if it is as though they never existed. As if fallen for cracks in time. Still, they were. The mud and scratches bear with the witness. are so high now, nothing pierces them. An endless ocean, unbearably calm. The murk has dissipated, and the water is clearer than it has ever been. The flopping has stopped, and so, with nowhere to go but down, I dive. But I must do so carefully, delicately, lest I disturb the seals that has through the eons, set into a peaceful but fragile blanket. gonna be it for today. Now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye!